What up, Super Fun Force? Captain G -G -G Games to back, and we're here with part two of my Beyblade Lab, focusing on Hasbro's Quad Drive. As I mentioned before, I'm testing the full set. I have most of them, uh, but again, either way, this will still help you give you a basic idea of all the different weight levels, the power levels, and the strategies, and some tips and ideas behind building your combos and playing in this new format. So, that being said, we're going to get into the forged discs and the uh, drivers. All right, so. As I mentioned before, the forged discs are averaging about 25, which is these three right here. The um, average weight being around 25.1, .2. These are the lightweight ones with just a shy bit under 25, maybe around 24. And these are here about, this one here is about 25 and a half. And then the taper heaviest coming in at about 26.2. Now, when you look at these three groups here, so essentially you're going to decide, well, you know, do I have a heavier... Um, Beyblade that I might want to give maybe somewhat of a little bit of a, a lighter um, forge disc to. So in other words, that could help the stamina increase or maybe have it get a little bit more mobility uh, in attack type. So what I will say is with the Nexus one, uh, we don't have a um, a frame. So on Takarotomi side, you have a red S gear and you also have a blue D gear, uh, I guess slash in defense. And one of the other layers I don't have yet uh, is the Dynamite or Destructor Bellfire, which... Also, to me, seems a little incomplete at this time because it doesn't have uh, at least the F gear. I feel like you need the F gear just to make it a full layer. So uh, I'll be on the lookout for that. <clears throat> now, for these three in the middle. Oh, and also for this one, let me just quickly say. Um, I like this for attack types because it's a unique Hasbro exclusive bay. And, you know, even though it's even, because it has three concentrated points of weight, it'll help it, like, move a little bit more and focus to maybe certain attack points on your layer so keep that in mind with this one this one i would say is just pretty much all around anything at this point right because it's just a you know uh pretty much a symmetrical shape all the way around and then for this one i like this exclusive one as well because hey this one is perfect <coughs> excuse me i think for the um the uh valtriac because valtriac's three blades line up with this so that's kind of my you know secret sauce i also like this on attack types because again it distributes the weight towards the outer portion in a way that like you know it creates a little bit of this like jaggy pattern and maybe helps it move around a little bit more so i think this is a great attack type forge disc good job hasbro uh, and also i like the fact that they didn't really you know drastically make them different you know so again barely we're talking 24 to 20 you know six grams so it's not like there's a huge like disadvantage like if you you know have to use this one because it's like 30 grams and then the rest are like 24 or 22 or like something like ridiculous this is good enough so that the way the light the lightweight middleweight and heavyweight categories are still you know i guess um they have like a similar power level with their strengths and their weaknesses uh this one here is a giga you know cut in half from the takarotomi uh this is also a solid all-arounder whether you're using it for defense you know uh, stamina or attack uh, so great balance if you know you want a lighter stamina maybe your your combination is too heavy uh then you might want to stick with um like a nexus disc if you want to keep your uh, stamina levels uh in check because as you start getting heavier you know your stamina can go down a little bit uh this is also another interesting kind of like stamina balanced uh forge disc another exclusive i believe it has all these like prongs here like uh more like jagginess to it uh it is circular and it is kind of like you know round per se just like giga but again i think these um these jagged jagged edges help it be a little bit more defensive by Again, maybe concentrating a little bit more like weight to the outside as well as the inside. So uh, this is definitely a good one uh, uh, for a defense. Defense and stamina. Then this one. This is another interesting uh, exclusive again. I, I like the spikes on it. It looks really cool. Uh, reminds me of like wheel, but it's like elevated up. Uh, this again really focuses on creating centrifugal force. So great stamina. And um, basically, I think this could be okay for attack. You know, and um, I think for defense, though, the fact that it's a little bit more hollow on these um, outer portions might, you know, affect its like um, its solid kind of like tankiness. Uh, but again, I mean, a lot of these forged discs probably only have very minimal uh, differences, but I would probably stick to this for, um, you know, stamina or attack more so than defense. And then this one here, um, and also we have to take in consideration that this might also prop it up. So with more testing, maybe these ones are better in high mode. Right, like I found that when I use taper in high mode, it's interesting because it creates like this gap that can sometimes catch and push other Beyblades down. But uh, here's the heavyweight. Uh, I think this is uh, perfect for uh, stamina defense because it, again, um, 
attributes all of the weight to the um, the outer perimeter, right, to help create more centrifugal force. So it is heavy. So I would probably put this with like a lighter layer, you know. So for example, um, one of the more rounder layers or something that you want to build to be maybe more defense stamina, balanced stamina, you can supplement a heavier, or excuse me, a, a lighter layer with this forged disc since it's heavier. Again, you can always try to make a super heavy Beyblade, but I think that um, you'll suffer heavily in stamina, right? So just keep that in mind. So those are my tips with these uh, first forged discs. I think Hasbro's off to a good start here. They have a nice variety and a good, you know, a good classification between lightweight, middleweight, and heavyweight. All right, now let's finish off with the drivers. So same thing, I have them gr uh, grouped up with the actual, um, let me see, let me, oh yeah, let's do this right here. With the tips, uh, excuse me, the, well, the attachment and then the actual driver. So if you look here, the majority of them fall into the middleweight class. On average, let's just grab this one. They're about 5.5 grams. So you'll see a very, very little difference in terms of all of these styles here now again i think um like these two look like just a recolor they all have pretty much the same um style very little difference you know like they're basically kind of like speed storm and then maybe the tip you know there's a little bit of a different design that you can help uh, you know qualify the the style and then of course the tip like you have a flat tip you have a slightly raised one this is round like has like a an indent um, this is like the spiral star style. Then this one here even has like a hollow tip. But they're all, you know, very similar in weight and performance. Whereas these kind of spin a little bit faster and they move a little bit faster. But then they don't really have great stamina because they'll topple over a lot easier. Now, I haven't battled a lot of like cross, um, cross series yet. So I haven't battled against Hypersphere. But I feel like Hypersphere would probably own these without even battling them at least once. I'll obviously test it for myself. But if I had to guess... I think that if you just use these tips or these drivers with no attachments, you probably would be at a huge disadvantage and lose a lot against the Hypersphere uh, equipped uh, Beyblades. That being said, we'll talk about the, the attachments in a moment that kind of help maybe um, balance that out. So lastly, this one here, I don't even recommend. Uh, it's the lightest at like maybe four. What was it? Let's see. Let's see here. Well, let me also do this here really quick. This one, for some reason, is the heaviest one because I think the base is the bigger one. It's, it's the only one that has the same style as this one, but like, I want to double check these. So let's also do this one really quick. 5.61 for this one, this cream colored one, the yellow one. Oh, never mind. 5.67. They're the same. It just got moved over here with the heavyweight one. Okay. So again, all of these, you know, these two are the same and these two are the same, just different colors. So right now I only have one, two, three, four, five, uh, six different uh, drivers in the middleweight, or I guess the average, and then this lightweight one, which is 5.6. It's very, very slightly less than the others, but like, even this one that looks like it should be, you know, a little bit lighter because it has so much hollowness to it. Even this one is a 5.43, right? And then let's look at this one again. 5.5, and then this one, because this one looks like it should be pretty heavy, you know, it's a little bit thicker. 5.55 yeah so again this is like the average so again good job with hasbro keeping it pretty much the same so what's going to happen is again you you're probably going to equip most of your beyblades with this middleweight one so it's going to be about the attachments right this one here i don't know it spins quick it moves a little bit but it just does not have stamina so if you want to make a lighter one uh with a good tip this might be a, a good starting point again if you're you know trying to get a little bit of a lighter uh beyblade overall then you know use this driver and then put a better performance tip to balance that and here's the big kahuna so far you can tell because it has a thickest uh tip right there and what up guys sorry about that and this one comes in at a whopping 5.8 so again very slightly heavier than the rest but again uh if you're going for either a heavier one or you need a heavier um performance tip driver this is what you start with okay so now quickly looking at the last uh, bit of it we got the uh, attachments now these ones come in at very very low uh, this one 1.34 and then I believe the average is about 2 yeah 1.98 got the spiky one here 2.12 and then these ones are the heavy ones I believe this one the one that emulates never probably like the heaviest this one is what 
2.24, yeah, 2.24. Uh, this one's probably really heavy too, this flat one here. 2.25, yeah, slightly. Let's take a look at this spiky one here. Wow, this is the biggest one, 285, man. And let's see if this one can beat it. 2.3, not really, okay. So yeah, again, the average ones here are about like, um, you know, 1.8, just shy of two, and then the heaviest ones go under over two, as you can see here. So my quick take on these, um, I feel like it's cool that you can switch and swap around the tips, you know, the um, attachments here, but I feel like they're at this point 100% necessary. Uh, let me know in the comments if you think otherwise, and of course, if I find it different, I'll, uh, I'll update, but you know, these lightweight ones, I don't see any use for this one. This is just such an odd shape, like just doesn't last or anything like that. It's gonna get knocked over super easily. Uh, the fugal, I don't know. I mean, it, it. I didn't really like the fugal on the um, on the previous ones. I mean, this can scrape. I mean, in Takarotomi and and whatnot, I have this, so I'd also be wary of this one. But this is where you're going to start here. I think these are excellent attack types. They add, a, you know, definitely a good amount of uh, of weight, and it and you has that um, this kind of cross shape here to help kind of like move it around a, a little bit, and has decent stamina. So this is a really nice attack type. I'll say the same for this one as well so far in my testing. This one is interesting. It feels like a balance type, but so far it's been falling short. Like it doesn't have enough stamina. It uh, doesn't really have enough attack and movement. So not quite sure with that. Uh, these ones here are great with stamina. You can tell just because they have so much flat surface area. Like this one has a tip. This one is a little bit rounded. Obviously doesn't. there's no ball in there. It's kind of like an atomic. But with just so much surface area, I mean, these can even just stay almost standing up. So they give a lot of extra boost to like final spin and survival uh, finish because it has enough for it to stay up and then maybe even spin where most other uh, drivers will just like top over and then they won't be able to spin, right? And then same with this one. This is trying to emulate never, but it doesn't have the spinning uh, plastic in there. Uh, this one I found to be very aggressive. So this is really good if you want to like uh, increase the, um, the weight of an attack type. This one definitely moves around and it uh, adds an extra additional punch to it. So there you guys go. That is my analysis of the current set of uh, Forge Discs and performance drivers and the, the um, attachments. So as I mentioned before, uh, start by looking at what the weight classes are, examine the shape, see how it goes with the overall strategy. Like if you're building attack, balance, defense, stamina, take in consideration like does my uh, Beyblade need more uh, you know, heavy hitting weight to try to attack and burst or knock out the other opposing Beyblade? Do I try to give it a good amount of, you know, it'll run out of stamina, but it'll at least try to get that hit. Do I try to give it a defense uh, tankiness, uh, sacrificing a little bit of stamina, or do I try to lighten it up? Um, and then, of course, just for the lightweight, maybe I build a nice stamina Beyblade that can keep spinning. Maybe take a hit and maneuver around and be a um, kind of like in a dodging uh, strategy. And, you know, if you want to try to, do, to balance between a few of those two, then definitely uh, give that a shot. When it comes to using the performance drivers, again, it's probably the best to start with any of these and then just examine how these patterns here or these um excuse me these designs on these attachments for these tips how they affect the movement and the performance and the stamina of your build your combo and again i would probably just shy away from these i would look to you know maybe some attack types with these defense uh and and stamina oh, with, with the, these ones over here um, I would definitely use this for attack and maybe like balance and yeah start playing around with these combinations again of how you want to set up your weight All right guys. Well, let me know how your combos are coming along I'm definitely gonna post mine in part three And I'm super excited to start showcasing a lot of battles guys All right. Well, don't forget like and subscribe Keep it faith. Say a prayer. Stay thankful. Be positive. We'll be coming back at you. Peace